Treya is an AI image generator and it is completely new on the AI market. It is trending fast on Twitter, which is where people are actually give, showing their work of what they've been doing recently and what they've been doing with Kraya. And here are some examples. So someone's designed a fish head, a human-like fish head with Kraya, and it's all done in real time. I really like how Olivia Moore on Twitter has actually used overlays, which I'll show you very soon and how to use that with a reindeer flying through the sky. Super impressive. And Luca is showing an example of how it can be used in architecture. Delve straight into Kraya.ai. So if you want to go, you can go to Kraya.ai. And what you need to do right now is there is a waiting list, but it's very quick. Yesterday I signed up on the waiting list and today I got straight into the application itself, completely free of charge. It's a live image generations, 50 image generations a day, 10 video generations as well, every day. But today I'm just looking at image generations. There is a Cree Pro plan as well, if you need that. What I really like about Cray right now, Cray a real-time generation, is that if you compare it with Leonardo AI, live canvas, you can't do the intro, you can't go onto real time mode. So you can't see your images, you can't see your images changing immediately. With Cray AI, you can do that. So let me show you what the dashboard looks like and I'll show you through some of the simple controls. So I'm going to show you around the actual dashboard of Cray.ai. Let me show you the controls and what they do. And then I'm going to give you an example of what you can do with that by creating an image. So this is your side panel. We have text to image, uh, image to image which is what I'm going to be working on right now. Uh, you also got screen to image, which I've not looked into yet, but it looks interesting. And there's also camera as well, which I will play around with in another time. Uh, this is select to move, so whatever objects you put onto your canvas, which is just there, that's the canvas. Canvas, uh, you can actually move them around and expand them. Uh, you've also got your shapes, so we got uh, we got square, circle, and uh, triangle, which I'll show you how to use them soon. Uh, you can add an image if you like, but we're not looking into that today. And looking at paintbrush, so we're just looking at doing shapes and paintbrush on the canvas, which is just good enough. That's all you really need to use to get these amazing AI generated images. Um, I'm going to look at the canvas background. You can change the color and the opacity as well. Now, if you want to undo what you did, then you can undo below and redo. Now, this is so if, if you make some mistakes in the canvas, if you want to start over again, you can clear the canvas altogether. Now, if you go to the top, you can. this is your generate and enhance is where when you finish your generation, your AI image generation, and you're happy with it, you go to the enhance section and that will en enhance the image for you. That will enhance the quality of the image for you. And I will show you that later. Now, on the right, you have another panel. So these, this is your right panel and this changes the different styles and you have different styles for your images. So at the moment, we can do no, no style, so it changes the image straight away, as you can see. The cinematic, illustration, kind of art, bloom, nature, product. If you're selling a product, so it shows you a Nike shoe. Uh, this is quick enhance, so you don't, so you don't need to go to the enhance section you can quickly enhance your ai image at the bottom is one important area a very important area and this is your prompt field okay so you've got your random prompts and it will randomly give you prompts 
a secluded pole pirates trading magic artifacts, reasoning with adventure anime themes. Okay, and that's the image that it will give you. And there's a little logo below, creo.ai. And you can, you can change it again to the houses in England with chimneys like clustered toad stools. And if you want to, this is the AI strength, which is at 0.7. If you change it, that changes the creativity of it, makes it more detailed and creative. A whimsical treehouse village interconnected with swing bridges. Let's take a look. Okay, so now you know the dashboard, let's get creative. Uh, let's have a look at how to create your own image. So let's start with a blank image. Oh, well, there's a lovely product image of a Nike shoe. We do no style. Let's start with the black canvas. And because it's Christmas very soon, I'm going to use, we're going to do a Christmas style AI generated image. And because it is Christmas, I might look at doing the product. So I'll choose the paintbrush green usually a christmas tree is green and it's better to do this anyway because i think you'll have more control doing it this than doing the prompt so let's do this one first christmas tree that's the christmas tree it's given me So I said a beautiful rug at the bottom, so it's looking pretty good now. So it's looking pretty good in a beautiful room with a fireplace. So the Christmas tree is behind the fireplace, which I didn't want to have. I didn't want that to happen. Noble fir tree in front of a fir place, beautiful rug at the bottom in a beautiful room. Now, when you're happy with that, what you can do is do this. Go to quick enhance, and that will enhance the details of the image straight away. And you can keep on doing that until the details become perfect. We can zoom into it. It's very blurry at the moment. Now, the, the thing is, that will enhance the details, but you want to upscale it. So that enhances the details, but you want to upscale it. Let's press this upscale. So we got the Christmas tree, your image there, and the AI strength, the upscaling factor, resolution, prompt, and all you need to do and I'll give you an example of what it should look like from some other pictures. Here's an image of a frog. Okay, that was the previous image and that's when it is upscaled. Incredible. Very detailed, no blurring. That's upscaling for you. So there's a little bit of a problem with the enhance. It does take a while and let me just see maybe that is an issue with the actual application right now but for the actual images if you go back to the images you can upload it you can download it and you can upscale that later in a different app if you want 